Hi, I'm Tabby Pencil, and welcome to this video. Uh, today, I'll be designing a dragon species called the Ghostly Miss Frill, uh, not on those at all, for Halloween. Although not, like, super Halloween-y dragons, uh, I promise at least one piece of art featuring witch hats. Oh, and quick note, if you watch my last dragon designing video, you will have noticed that I shortened the name for that species. Uh, I will do that for this one as well. I'll call them Misfrills. Uh, just a heads up. Anyways, let's get into the project. At the point when I decided to start this project, I was unfortunately in school. And I could not wait until the end of the day. Uh, let me explain a little thing about my motivation so you can get the full picture. My motivation is like the most erratic thing ever. It's like having an internal motivation cat. The cat appears when it wants to, and there's no knowing when it will leave or remain. That's also why I have to work on several pieces at once, because if I don't, the motivation cat will get bored and leave. So, I was in school, and I had this motivation to draw. So I took out my school notebook and started doodling what I thought this dragon would look like. Uh, here are the first ever iterations for the mist roll. Uh, yes. I know, they're not pretty, but they did help. And here's a mist frill as well, however, it's not the final design. Uh, so, after that, I came home and sat down with my iPad, final idea in mind. Here's the concept art. Uh, I'll take this time to ramble a bit about mist frills. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, mist frills are based on ghosts, as I'm sure you can observe from their full name. They have flowy frills that glow with a soft light, as well as markings. Uh, the thing is, though, these markings are invisible unless they're doing magic. Then they glow, and their frills grow brighter as well. Uh, and their eyes, too. Uh, Miss Frills possess light magic. They actually have distant cousins, the star frills, who possess shadow magic. However, the star frills don't live in the forests of Cosmerolin anymore. Oh. Yeah, did I mention that? They live in Cosmerolin. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, instead, preferring Strelaria. Uh, they're both in Niblorica, like this thing, in case you haven't watched my last dragon design video. Um, I will possibly explain lore stuff that goes with that in the future. Uh, so anyway, Miss Frills. Uh, the way their magic works, it's either you have it or you don't. There are varying levels of talent, however, it doesn't completely depend on the parents. There's a lot of gene stuff, I guess, involved, and sometimes magic can skip as much as four or five generations before reappearing. Most minstrels have magic, I'd say, 70%. Uh, and, um, because I am extremely self-indulgent, they wear witch hats, because, um, because they do. Anyway, uh, they like the water, and they live in, like, dark forests and only come out at night. And you may be thinking, wow, that's really weird. Creatures that have light magic only come out at night? That's strange. And you'd be right, but whatever. I guess they have this thing where their magic can be seen better at night, or maybe they're hunted by Strelarians during the day slash twilight hours, so they gradually evolve to wake up at only at night. Uh, who knows? Not me, for sure. Uh. Anyway, on to the next piece of art. This next piece is an animation. Yeah, it's a really bad animation though. It mostly just demonstrates how they activate their magic. Uh, not even completely correctly though, as you may have noticed in the concept art as well. Uh, the frozen markings don't even glow properly. Like, I really do not know what I was thinking when I made this. Uh, it was an even bigger waste of time than someone. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm not even gonna show you the speed paint because it's, like, really long and boring. It's just me animating crap, so whatever, let's just move on. Uh, this is the time where I talk to you about where Mistfrills live. They actually live in Cosmerolin, in the Azure Rainforest, uh, in the continent of Niblurica, which I still don't have a map for. Anyway, unlike the Cosmotail, they live in deeper parts of the forest and like water. Uh, just for clarification, the Cosmotail is from this video. I, I'm sorry I keep mentioning it, but it kind of just you need context, I guess. But anyway, uh, they can breathe underwater and thus most live 
like near lakes or swamps. Uh, they hunt like crocodiles, stalking their prey from the water while toning down the glow from their frills and then suddenly jumping and attacking. Uh, anyway, that was shorter than expected. Uh, back to the art. Uh, this is a drawing of a full body. It's just kind of so I can see what a misfroll looks like and also absolutely torture myself with how many? 21 layers? <laughs> uh, drawing transparency is not fun. Uh, anyway, here she is, using some magic. Like, I finally drew it correctly. Like, everything's lighting up instead of, like, just the frills and eyes, finally. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. She's being slightly spooky, I guess. I don't know. I'll I should stop talking. Just enjoy the speed paint. This is another drawing of a headshot, because I don't have enough of those already. Uh, anyway, for funsies, I made this sort of original character, I suppose. Uh, anyway, here's a scrap of backstory for you. Uh, Adrell left Cos Maryland when she was 15. She maneuvered her way into Shrilaria and basically was a little brat and was too picky for any job she might have had. Uh, then, like, at some point, some dragon noticed her, I guess, and now she's a model. But, like, in her desperation, she signed a contract that she should not have, and now she is stuck, even though she hates her life. Yeah, that that's fun. Um, I, I, I don't, I really don't know, like, whatever. She's, I really just wanted to draw, like, a sad dragon, and then just, like, my mind went crazy with the backstory stuff. Uh, anyway, just enjoy the rest of this beat paint. piece and a Halloween art piece you shall get. Uh, I did lose motivation by the end of this one though, so it's kind of looks unfinished, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Here are some cute misfurls in witch hats. I like to think that their witch hats are like something that's unique to them since they don't have horns. 
uh, the dragons of this world just did not think to invent hats like that since they had horns. And I mean, like, I get that they can sort of just poke holes in them, but, like, I don't know, like, other dragon cultures just didn't think of a hat like that, I guess. Uh, So there's that. Just don't look too closely at Tabby's witch hat. You may find something a little strange. Uh, Anyway, just enjoy the rest of the speed paint. Don't think about Tabby's witch hat. Uh, To wrap up the video, I'd just like to say that this project has been so much fun. Uh, One of the most enjoyable parts of drawing for me is designing creatures or OCs, whether they're dragons, cats, or just miscellaneous amalgamations of what my brain thinks is cool at that time. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I apologize for the inconsistencies in the art. Um, Yeah, just... Rest assured, all the information in the voiceover is true. So, and ask me any questions about that you may have uh, in the comments, if you have any. Anyway, uh, here's the final art.